Currently, we allow 140,000 employment-based green cards in this country each year, 140,000. Why we have that number, I can't tell you, but that is the established statutory number. We also have a provision that those who apply for that green card are limited, that no country can receive more than 7.5% of those visas each year. Somebody help me with the math, but somewhere around 10,000 would be from maximum for the country. So when you do the calculation and say 10%, uh, 10,000 out of 140,000 is the maximum for India each year. The obvious question is how When you do the calculation, 10,000 a year, you're right. It's 50 years, it's 100 years, it's makes no sense whatsoever. So the bill says that we're going to give priority to those who have been in line first, and have meant that most priority is going to go to those from India, at the expense of every other country. As long as we keep the 140,000 cap, when we give to any one country more than this 7.5%, it's at the expense of any other country. Let's start with math, basic math, Andrew Yang math. Here's what it boils down to. Each year we have 140,000 employment-based visas issued in the United States, 140,000. A decision was made several years ago that politicians were playing favorites, picking countries that would get more of one and more of another, and so they put in country quotas, country caps, 7.5%. I'll do the math, liberal arts lawyer, it's about 10,000 per year per country. No more than 10,000 per country per year, if 7.5% of the total is our cap. The problem is obvious. There are some 520,000 people of Indian descent in the United States 